All right, so we're going to look at multiplying special case cases today. Um, last class period, we talked about multiplying different polynomials together. So we took monomials times binomials, or monomials times trinomials. We did multiply some binomials times some binomials. We did all kinds of polynomial multiplication. And if you're comfortable with that, you can always go back and multiply that way. But we run into some special and unique situations that we have maybe some shortcuts to or some different strategies for. And the first special case is when we're multiplying two binomials together. Okay, so again, this only works with binomials. Okay, we have a process of what we call FOIL. So when I'm taking a binomial times another binomial, I can use what I call FOIL. And F-O-I-L. F stands for the first terms in the... So let me just give you the example of these two binomials. F stands for to multiply the first term times the first term. So what is 5x times 2x? Well, that would be 10x squared. O stands for the outside terms. So what I mean by the outside terms are the two terms that are the farthest apart from the problem. So I'm going to take 5x times a positive 1. I stands for the inside terms. The inside terms are the two terms that are closest together in the problem. So that is a negative 4 times a positive 2x, that would be a negative 8x. And then L stands for the last term. So the last term in the problem times the last term in the problem. Negative 4 times 1 is a negative 4. Okay, and the color doesn't mean anything right now. Um, my pen's doing something weird here. Um, so I end up with these four terms. Now, would you stop here? Um, hopefully you're recognizing that you've got some like terms in here. And almost always, not always, but almost always, when we use FOIL, you're going to have some like terms from the outside and the inside pieces. So we're going to go ahead and combine those and say 10x squared. We're going to combine these like terms. That's a negative 3x minus 4. And that is my answer for that product. Okay? Now, when we did it the last class period, you would get the same result. Okay? Your terms might be in different order. When we distributed, we took this 5x and we distributed to the second one. And then we took the 4x and we distributed. So you might have terms in different order, but our end result is going to be the same thing. Okay, but when I think of taking and multiplying two binomials together, I immediately think of the process of FOIL. And when we get to the second half of this chapter, when we start factoring, you're going to need to understand FOILing. So please give this a try. Okay, so I've got a binomial times a binomial, so I'm going to use FOIL. So I start by taking the first term times the first term. x times the 3x is 3x squared. The outside pieces, that would be an x times a positive 4. And be careful with your signs. So this is a positive x, that's a positive 4. Okay, when I multiply the inside pieces, that's a negative 6 times a 3x. That would be a negative 18x. Last term times last term, negative 6 times positive 4 is a negative 24. Okay? And again, I've got some like terms here. My outside and my inside piece are like each other. So I'm going to combine those and say my answer is 3x squared plus 4 minus 18 would be a negative 14x minus 24. Okay? Here's a different, okay, another special case that we're going to look at is when we take the product of a binomial squared, okay? Here's a binomial. It's got two terms in it, so it's a binomial, but we are going to square it. We're going to raise it to the second power. Think about what that means. What does it mean to square something? Okay, well, it means to take something times itself. If I were to take 3 and square it, that means 3 times 3. So when I take this binomial squared, that means 5x minus 3 times itself, 5x minus 3. So you end up with two binomials. So we're just going to go right back and use FOIL. I'm going to take first term times first term. I'm going to take the outside pieces. It's going to be a negative 15x. Take the inside pieces. 
negative 15x. And I'm going to take last term times last term. Negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. Once again, don't stop. Take a look at your terms. Do you have anything that can be combined? Outside and inside here, so 25x squared minus 30x plus 9. Okay, is there any, any situation where this last term could be something other than a positive value? Okay, the answer to that would be no, not when we're squaring something, because I square a negative, I'm going to get a positive. If this were a positive, positive times a positive is still going to be positive. Okay, and then you'll start to recognize the more practice you get that there's a little pattern there as well. Your outside and your inside pieces are always the same term, so it's just doubling it. Okay, here's another one that we can try. Okay, since it is a binomial that's squared, I'm just going to write it down twice. Okay, and then I'm going to use FOIL. The first term times first term gives me the 4x squared. Outside, 2x times 5. Inside are the two that are closest together. Positive 5 times 2x. And then last term times last term, 5 times 5. So 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. Okay, and then the last example of a special case that we have is called the product of a sum and difference. Okay, it's a product. We're still multiplying through all of this. We end up multiplying. But what we look at is the sum and a difference. So you might have a binomial that is 5x plus 7. That would be a sum, since it's plus. And then you've got the same terms, but the second one's going to be a difference. So you've got a sum and a difference. And the terms are going to be the same value, the same numbers. Okay, when I follow the process of FOIL here, I get 5x times 5x, that would be a 25x squared. First term times first term. Okay, outside pieces, 5x times a negative 7, that'd be a negative 35x. Okay, the inside pieces, positive 7 times 5x, that'd be a positive 35x. Last term times last term, 7 times negative 7, the negative 49. What do you notice about the outside and the inside terms this time? Okay, they're not the same, are they? They're close, but they're not the same. They're actually opposites of each other. So those are going to always cancel out. So you're going to have 25x squared minus 49. This is the first example we've seen where we get a binomial for an answer. And that's always going to happen when you have a sum and a difference because your outside and your inside pieces are going to cancel out. Okay, let's just try one more example there. Let's do an example of, let's go um, 3x minus 2 and 3x plus 2. Okay, this is a sum and a difference. This time the difference is first, but that shouldn't matter. Okay, I'm just going to follow FOIL. So first term times first term, 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Outside pieces. 3x times a positive 2, a positive 6x. Inside pieces, negative 2 times 3x, that would be a negative 6x. Last term times last term, negative 2 times positive 2 be a negative 4. Okay, again, these are going to cancel out. So I get 9x squared minus 4. Again, I finish with a binomial. And always, this last term is always going to be a negative because these signs are always going to be different. So when we multiply a positive times a negative, we're always getting a negative value. Okay, those are some special cases. Go ahead and start working on worksheet 7.3.